Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your June 2019 General Horoscope Psychic Reading. Scorpio, it is a pleasure to be talking to you here. I, there's just something, I'm feeling so at home and comfortable talking to my fellow fixed signs. It's just, it's a hominess to talking to you guys. And so, I'm really excited to see what psychic messages come up for you here with the tarot. Um, first, I just have a couple announcements I want to let you know about. Really awesome stuff. I mean, first of all, if you haven't yet, Scorpio, um, hit the subscribe button here on my channel. Subscribe, keep up to date with all the videos and publications that I have coming out. And um, also, there is a 15% off coupon code for any of you Scorpios that are looking for a personal reading and it's for all of you loyal subscribers so it is in the descriptions box below so yeah you can access that and also I am doing last thing I am doing two free giveaways here this month um, giving away two of the starlight meditative rituals that I have in my Etsy shop. So look out for those free giveaways and details in the descriptions box below as well. All right, Scorpio, I'm gonna do five shuffles here and we're gonna dive right into what is going on for you here in June in Gemini season. So I will say, Scorpio, this is affecting that part of your chart that has to do with a lot of mystery, that has to do with your inner dialogue with yourself. Okay, what spiritual practices you have going on for yourself? What spiritual direction? What spiritual purpose you have right now? Really looking at that and looking at the involvement and growth that you need to even make there. Scorpio. This is a place that has to do with endings and beginnings. Alright, one more shuffle. Okay, here we go. I'm also hearing, ooh, before I draw the rest of the cards, I just have to show you. Look, look, first card, the moon. What, what was I saying? Spiritual house. Yeah, this is bringing up karmatic stuff for you. And it can have to do with spiritual debts but it can also do with actual like material debts. Debts as in like student loans, credit card debt, you know, any kind of financial debt, um, finances and resources through your partner, Scorpio, that can come up for you this month. Also, if any of you are looking at doing surgery of any kind, this is a house that is being activated in your chart that has to do with surgery. It has to do with restoration, okay? Restoration repair. Okay, all the cards are out. If you will, Scorpio, just take a couple of deep breaths with me and get in that frame of mind of receiving here, whatever spirit wants to communicate with you. And I'm going to look at your cards a little bit here. Okay, Scorpio, right off the bat, you know, I know I already briefly touched on this, with the Moon card, being informed with the High Priestess here, this is really, really powerful. This, with this activating your eighth house of spirituality, karmatic debts, and your intuition, how you process psychic information is really powerful this month. Scorpio. You're the natural ruler of this house. So in a sense, it can come easy to this month 
Now, will some of these things perhaps that you are having to wrap up, having to resolve, having to, you know, deal with an easy process, you know, maybe, no, the process may be a little challenging, but the psychic messages, wisdom that is here for you is, is uncanny. Especially I'm getting here around the Gemini new moon. This is really going to be activated for you. So pay attention to that Scorpio. That's on the third of this month. So definitely where there has been, where there has been any kind of manipulation within your life, within your circle, Scorpio, where there has been any kind of manipulation, hidden agendas, that is rising to the surface now. Yeah, and now is a good time. I'm getting here too. It's going to help you to study a little bit more about spirituality. You know, you could get into astrology, into the psychic, occultic arts, ritual practice, meditation here, yoga. But I'm getting that there's definitely, you're being invited to do some more study here. There's some wisdom that you can be gained that will help open up Help, un help open up your senses in some way a little bit more through study, through spiritual, psychic learning. Perhaps you're finding an actual teacher too here. You know, it doesn't have to be self-study and self-taught. It would be good for you to even find, if you work better that way, Scorpio, find yourself a teacher, someone who can help you, perhaps consulting with a Someone who does tarot, someone who does read astrology, even if you do that for yourself, utilizing those tools right now is going to be extremely helpful and guiding for you this month. Information is definitely coming out. You have the King of Swords down here in your subconscious area, Scorpio. Your subconscious mind really wants to speak to you this month. Pay attention to your dreams, communicating those dreams, writing them down, sharing them with within therapy or within using your psychic tools to help you interpret the symbolism and the messages there in your dreams. That's one message coming through for this for you. Also... Being really, you're getting really forthright with yourself about where you stand in your spirituality, where you have been too hard on yourself, Scorpio, where you need to ease up a little bit, I'm getting. You know, we have the high priestess sitting between the pillars of severity and the pillar of mercy. So, Scorpio... You're really being asked to find that middle ground. Have you been too lenient on some things in your life? With relationships recently, maybe. Have you been too severe with those relationships, with that area in your life? Hmm? So you're being asked to take an honest, the King of Swords about is about taking a real honest, clear look at this. And you'll get it. You'll get an honest, clear vision or communication with this. You have the Queen of Wands showing up here recently. Okay, there's, yeah. <laughs> your passion, I'm getting a lot of you are really being drawn to your passion for psychic studies, occultism, astrology, clairvoyance, all of that stuff is really peaked and you're being invited to follow that urge, Scorpio. Mm. Right off the bat, that is strong. Also, the feminine power is pretty strong here in this reading. Being in more of a receptive mode is going to really benefit you. 
especially the first two and three weeks of this month I'm getting Scorpio. Be more in a receptive sort of mode. You don't have to overexert yourself, overwork yourself to achieve things, okay? Three of Cups here showing up next, Scorpio. Okay, I like this. Definitely some things coming up and coming out secrets, like I said. Anything that has been any kind of lies or manipulation within your social circle, within relationships, rising to the surface. Okay, this is sitting above the moon. But it's something that has to be talked of. And I'm getting here that it's not, it's not really that negative, Scorpio. I'm getting that the other people around you are going to appreciate and honor you for sharing perhaps some of those deeper, darker thoughts or past decisions that were made or vice versa. Them sharing, them sharing that with you. Okay, so allow yourself to share. Don't be too fearful of the outcome because it does look positive with that Three of Cups where you're appreciated for being that kind of raw and vulnerable. You have the hangman showing up here next. Okay, so mm, I'm hearing that around the Sagittarius full moon, that is happening, let me look up my notes, on the 17th of June here. Pay attention to that energy. You're being invited to be a lot more, uh, take some extra meditative moments for yourself, some extra pauses. because you'll be able to see and understand more clearly that way around that time, okay? So pay heed to that. You're being invited with the hangman to, I'm hearing the word surrender some information, Scorpio. Perhaps you've been withholding some kind of information for some reason. Perhaps you're protecting someone or something protecting assets even. But you're being invited to surrender that information. And that's really where a lot of your power lies this month. Eight of Wands showing up next. Where you're surrendering the messages here. I, I, I'm getting. Receiving the messages. Whether that be spiritually, through meditation, through psychic consultations but also just through communication, especially with those close relationships that we brought up. Okay, and you know, things are being communicated quickly. I mean, messages, downloads of information are, are happening so fast for you in Gemini season. It's really no surprise with the placements that you have going on right now. And that's going to be, like I said, your personal power is sharing and sharing without hesitation. I'm getting you can you can speak quickly and in the moment. Now, however, just around that full moon, you are asked to, you know, exercise a little bit more pause, you know, with what's going on. But essentially, that's where your power lies this month. And it's really going to benefit you, Scorpio, is saying, speaking, surrendering information. And you can do it in the moment like that. So we have the emperor showing up in the position of those around you here. So there's an older figure, someone in power. This could be someone like a boss manager in the workplace or just a powerful figure in the community who has a lot of influence and i'm getting that it's definitely it's a strong male energy being the emperor here and they're wanting to help give you some structure some of that structure that perhaps you've been missing 
and spiritual structure, structure to your spiritual vision and life and beliefs for yourself, Scorpio. It, it, like I said, it's pretty spiritual and deep for you this month. You know, he's asking you, how is your, how is your inner spiritual world affecting the structure, the foundation of real life, of your daily life, Scorpio? It's very reflective. And so that there may be a figure, could be an Aries coming in for you. Also, Cancerian energy is really strong for you, which isn't no surprise. Uh, the sun moves into Cancer at the end of June, Scorpio, and that's gonna feel really good for you. It's gonna feel so good. And Cancer could be coming in here to really give you some support and help bolster you like wow the cancerian energy is abnormally strong you have three cards that are very cancerian one of them being the chariot which is up next here for you scorpio okay so especially once we move into cancer season which is oh goodness um the summer solstice and cancer season starts the 21st of june okay expect the direction of your life to shift quickly. Expect it to shift quickly. Expect um, some extra wisdom and knowledge to uh, come flooding in, to come rushing in. That is going to give you, it's, it's going to give you that confirmation, affirmation, whatever it is that you needed to go on this journey. There could be some travel involved here for some of you Scorpios, going out of town, going out of state, even out of the country. Movement is fast and strong. I'm moving into cancer season for you flowing 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 and it's beautiful scorpio because you end with the wheel of fortune here mm. woohoo i love it so karmetic stuff coming back around that is one thing that just popped up right off the bat since we have so much major arcana here that is speaking of the karmetic shifts and changes in your life this month. Okay. Spiritual practices. Evolving here. The ending with the Wheel of Fortune. This is like such a positive reflection that is showing up for you. And whatever trip is evolving for a lot of you Scorpios here. Whatever travel plans are showing up here. It looks really fortunate, really positive, really impactful. And it is the right move for you. Whether it is literal physical travel or just making some changes, changing your direction with your spirituality. Perhaps you're, some of you are simply stepping into a new spirituality. You are learning more, which we talked about, learning a bit more, gaining a bit more knowledge about your spirituality that changes your perspective and just kind of puts you in a different direction. And it looks so positive for you. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, I'm getting that this could bring you extra success, some accomplishment, especially towards the end of the month. And I want to go ahead and get one more clarity card with this Wheel of Fortune ending the reading here. Let's just get a 
bit more details. Also, any kind of debts that might be coming up, I'm getting here, any kind of debts that we brought up in the beginning, those are really working themselves out by the end of the month. But some of those debts are coming back in for you, are being asked to be dealt with. And physically, with your health, if any of you are thinking about doing any kind of surgery, um, I feel like you are being advised to, if you are looking for a different, different doctor, different uh, opinion from a health physician, you are being advised to go out and get it. Rather, go further out, perhaps consult with someone who is outside of your city who is outside of your community, that is showing up really strong for you. It's going to be really helpful and positive for you. A lot of intense stuff, a lot of deep stuff, isn't it, Scorpio, for you this month? I like it, though. I, whoop, I like it. All right. We have two clarity cards popping out. Okay, whoop, five of pentacles and then six of wands. Very interesting. <sighs> mm. There's almost like I'm getting here for some of you Scorpios, a fear of success. A fear of success showing up for you. And perhaps maybe it has to do more with the fear of how to handle it, how to handle this new fortunate event that is happening, this new accomplishment that is putting you, with the Six of Wands here, that is putting you in the spotlight. There's a little bit of fear of failure I'm getting with that, with the Five of Pentacles showing up here. Okay. Understood. Fear of failure is normal. Um, However, that's all I'm seeing it as, Scorpio. It's just a fear. You can really appreciate where you're evolving in the spotlight here. You do have the energy, you do have the means of handling, some of you a promotion is what it is that you're getting, or handling the direction that this accomplishment is taking you in. Because Wheel of Fortune, like I said, you're being blessed. Six of Wands, being recognized for it. And even with health, I'm getting here, you know, don't worry so much about the what if, the what if consequence, because that's all it is right now. It's a what if. You, know, you don't want to dwell on that. You don't want to cause yourself more stress. No, no, no. Not at all. Yeah, and definitely some of you are getting like a congrats here soon on a job well done. See, look at this. Look at those together. Congrats on job well done, Scorpio. But you definitely have to put in the spiritual work, something about really changing your spiritual outlook, therefore changing your spiritual vibration, getting more aligned within yourself, within your feelings. And that is just altering your course in the most beautiful way. Look out for whoever that Cancerian might be Cancerian helper, that Aries man, could be an Aries man, I'm also getting, getting it, could be a Taurus, who is helping promote you in some way, especially towards the end of the month. Beautiful Scorpio, this concludes your June reading here. 
I hope you utilize this advice and guidance to the best of your ability. Please leave me a comment below. Share with me, let me know how this is transpiring for you Scorpios. I'll be interested to hear all about it. And I'm sure your fellow water signs would love to hear about it as well. So Scorpio, don't forget to check out your 15% off uh, subscriber code that you can access in the descriptions box below and all the rest of the goodies. I will see you in the next video. Take care.